hard to time it's uh, it's easier to time than the cards ultimate but it is uh, it's doable but not like this so yeah you should jump on the on top of the stick and then just sit there and hope that you timed it correctly because you have something like one second I kind of forgot how long that is as the, the uh, this one um, It doesn't say. Hmm. But yeah, it's uh, somewhere from half a second to one second. I don't know, but it's it's hard to time. But as I said, it can be done. And you should definitely, definitely try it. Uh, he he wouldn't have made it if he did it now because he was like a second too early. But man, I really thought he would pull off the almost impossible there. And yeah, this uh, this zillion is doing a lot of damage, by the way. Although all he has is a little bit of well, random gold. He doesn't really have anything. Well, he has five kills, by the way, but not the amount of gold that he should get if he uh, he goes mid. And wow, come on, run! Holy hell! How did that work? Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> all kinds of kills all over the place. Yeah, Zillion um, really building up some AP here. And this is really uh, starting to become all about the Zillion, it seems. Because he is doing the majority of the damage, even though um, Irelia probably has more gold. But yeah, well, that's not what it's about. Unfortunately, Zillion... Yeah, he's just doing more damage here. Yeah, he, the, the, the Fizz actually has a high, uh, Ziggs, sorry, has the highest gold on this team. Um, yeah, here it should be Fizz, and it is Fizz. Okay, 125 minions versus 107, so at least 20 minions ahead. That's good. And um, yeah, the the kills not very impressive. Two kills ahead, but yeah. Uh, also two deaths ahead that is that's better of course but man so close to that uh, to the safe twice and twice he gets killed obviously in the last case it would have been either uh, well it could have been a double kill for Ziggs yes this time I actually meant Ziggs um, it could have been a double kill for Ziggs it could have also been uh, one for zero for uh, well the blue team why is he going back? Oh, okay. He was saving up for the needlessly large rod, which is an excellent item, of course, and you definitely want to go back to get that. So, red team checking out the dragon, but they are not going to go for it. They are going to go for this guy, who is indeed an AD uh, scion, and they have to go back. Lots of damage from the zillion. Holy hell! Yeah, Zillion really uh, just doing his thing, just putting some bombs on everyone. I don't know why he went for um, the Archangel Staff. It's yeah, it's reasonable, I guess, if he just keeps hitting Rewind. But Rewind, yeah, it costs 50 mana, so you can't do it like in the early game, all game. Oh wow! Wow, that ultimate from Ziggs and everyone just ran through it. Ah, he finally goes down though and a double kill for the horsey. But are we going to make it out? Yes, for now we are. Apparently uh, no skills up, uh, no indeed, no skills up on the Ramus. And Ramus is going to get this kill though. Yeah, there we go. Well, doesn't matter who got it, but... They got it. And there goes Ziggs. Going to go back. Fizz, sorry. Fizz! God damn. How can't they give these guys normal names? Blue team's turret has been destroyed. It's just so stupid. I, I know these names. It's just that because I have to do Ziggs and Fizz at the same time, 
We completely screwed up every single time. Anyhow, we should really dive on this with the whole team because, yeah, they're both very low and there's nothing to back them up and, well, one kill is good, good enough, I guess. Um, eight and three. Eight and three for now. So it is all good. So yeah, we are currently 5k, uh, 5, not 5k gold, well, 4k gold. Uh, 4k gold uh, behind, also 5 kills behind, and that's was what I was trying to say. But yeah, 5 kills behind, not a major deal. The 4k gold is way more important. Um, 4k gold is more than, is significantly more than 5 kills. It's more like 8 kills, 8 assisted kills. So yeah, uh, the enemy team is pretty far ahead, even though they don't have the amount of minions. I guess Zillion has the amount of minions, but they don't really have the amount of minions uh, to match the blue team. But I guess they did more dragons or something like that, because dragon of course it gives you a whole crap load of money, especially if you do it multiple times and you don't let the enemy get it. Um, yeah, the same goes for towers. Towers 750 gold, dragon about a thousand gold. And of course the Baron, well, we haven't seen that yet. But the Baron is about 1500 gold. Um, and I say about because, well, the actual gold value is 1500 gold. It's just that if you, well then calculate in the part after you have gone for Baron, so the Baron buff situation, uh, that should be considered as gold as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to say 500 gold for now. Uh, five, uh, sorry, 1500 gold for now, uh, 300 gold per person. And are we going to survive this? Because this is going to be very hard to survive. And there goes the slow, that should be good enough. Oh wow, going for it. Holy crap, that was very aggressive, but might actually be able to pick it up. Yep, there we go. Wow, very aggressive moves here. Um, yeah, of course, I really I wasn't going to switch targets halfway through, which was a mistake. I mean, uh, yeah, this is uh, semi-AP Warwick, but a lot of uh, good stuff on him. And she should have switched targets to the much weaker AP carry. But hey, she didn't, and uh, no, she got killed because of that. And of course, uh, Ramus got killed as well, but you know, Ramus got killed because, well, there were four guys there. Well, three plus Fizz. Fizz was, uh, was not really there anymore. And man, so bad. Pushed so much too far. <sighs> Holy hell. So they just got an advantage, a slight advantage out of the team fight. And what do they do? They immediately squander it by just pushing in like a bunch of morons. Just way too far in. And, oh, come on, at least get this. Yeah, that is good enough. Bye bye. Was a little bit uh, overkill, but I don't think he could have gotten that otherwise. And now we're going to die again. But yeah, this was all the result of that first push. That push all the way up to here. And then not running out when people were coming back. So they got ulted by Ziggs. And that's kind of how that went. <sighs> Man. You guys make it so hard for me to, uh, to cast this. So many stupid things in your games all the time. Uh, sometimes I really enjoy it, sometimes it annoys me like nobody's business. But in this case, yeah, it just annoyed me a little bit because they've been behind for so long and then finally they have a team fight where they win. And instead of, well, just grabbing their advantage and then pulling back out, they grabbed their advantage and stayed in to squander it. <laughs> and that just doesn't make sense. But Anyway, they uh, they made it work in the end because well they came up, came back one kill. I guess they uh, the the amount of kills from uh, from that well 
backside of that second team fight kind of made up for uh, for the first part. And yeah, they are going top. Um, obviously, this Irelia is going to die once again. She's 4 and 9, so she might actually uh, have to think about not doing this all the freaking time. Oh, well, this was good. At least someone showed up. But he's going to die now as well. At least he should. Because Hecarim and Ramus should both be, uh, be faster than he is. But unfortunately for them, that is not the case. They do get caught here by wow, Warwick and Fizz just randomly attacking everyone on the map. As long as we can see you, we can kill you. And yeah, getting three kills out of this insanely bad for the <laughs> enemy team morale. But yeah, they, they made no real mistake except maybe chase a little bit too far. But then again, they were three versus one and they were ahead. So currently... The score is uh, equal again, the gold score that is. And we are two kills behind, which is excellent. So we came back from uh, a, quite a big gold deficit actually. Um, everything over 10% is normally a big deal. And in this case, yeah, it is not, uh, well, it's, it's nothing anymore, but it used to be 4K when um, we were at something like 25k, so that is a pretty big deal. Anyhow, we are going to go in and we are going to attempt to assassinate this Zix. Come on, go on him. No, too much damage, but it doesn't matter for, for Fizz because Fizz is just going to own everyone. Come on! Triple kill! Yes, nicely done. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if we should stay in here, but... Okay, Warwick dies, but... Oh, 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 Quadra! I wanted to see if it still ran. This is going to be a pentakill. Nicely done. So they were... Um, yeah, they were equal at some points, and now they made a penta for one. So... Yeah, now they're ahead. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I'm not sure if that was a penta for one because that means they, uh, yeah, they lost some kills in, in the meantime. Anyway, they're going to grab a turret and this is when you can push because nobody's up but Zix is up again. He's going to ult his minions, so keep that in mind. And there you go. Not in time with the jump. And we are going to get out of here. At least we got the inhibitor. But you know that Fizz is going to, uh, no, that Ziggs is going to ult those minions. You could see that from the last few times that, um, well, his tower was pushed. The first time was actually at the middle tower when he ulted over here. And, well, the last time we saw it was the time where there the entire team was pushing. Well, no, three guys were pushing and they lost their team fight so terribly that uh, it wasn't even funny anymore. Wow, large amount of damage going down on this Ramus, who is not building anything tanky. Well, he's building armor, but that doesn't help against a team that, which main source of damage is magic damage. I mean, Warwick has a lot of magic damage. Uh, Zix is all magic damage, and Aurelia you shouldn't even care about, because that's true damage. So, you shouldn't care about building against her. So, I don't know why he's building... All kinds of armor. Well, I do know that. And I guess most of you know that as well. It's because on Ramus, of course, yeah, you get that bonus AD for the amount of uh, armor you have. Which is a totally stupid thing. If you want AD on Ramus, just build Infinity Edge. It's completely retarded to build armor just for that. You need to watch the enemy team, then build. But yeah, 18 and 5 Fizz, 7 and 6 uh, Warwick, and then a 7 and 6 uh, Scion. That is all magic damage. Or at least most of that is magic damage. And you should really just buy for that. 
I mean, who cares about Aurelia? As I said, that's true damage, so you can't do anything against that yeah, anyway. And Skarner, who cares about Skarner's damage? Skarner is not there for the damage. He's there for the ultimate. And that's all, all he does all day. He's there for that ultimate. And he has a slow, I guess. But yeah, that, even, that, that doesn't even matter at all. Anyway. Yeah, just silly builds all day. Uh, the Warmark's armor is not going to help you at all if you don't build uh, armor magic resist. And this is just all armor for the rest. Hang on, I saw someone here. Yeah, there we go. Come on, follow. Because I want to see Ramus fail, man. Yep, Ramus probably the quickest champion in the game. Maybe Master Yi with ultimate is uh, is quicker, but he has that. Uh, yeah, that one, the ball thingy, Powerball, of course, the Powerball, and he still doesn't. Uh, catch up with people at all this game so Fizz yeah retreats a little bit because he is pretty low and he really needs to watch out because he is going to get owned if he's not careful no what are you doing ah, that's never going to work he has a minefield he can just place the minefield next to you the anyway yeah um, Fizz, of course, should have retreated straight off uh, or stayed much farther in the back. But yeah, you have to use that uh, or your skills to the best of your abilities if you want to fight low health. And that is what I, I, I always tell you about, like, why I don't want to just cast the most fantastic replays ever played or games ever played. Uh, because... If I do pro replays or just show you like super good plays, you're not going to see what's necessary to make those plays. Here you see that someone fails at the play. I'm not saying that it's easy to do. I'm not saying that he shouldn't shouldn't have been failing at that, but he failed at it. He could have prevented uh, dying, but he didn't. And just like this Ramus is failing hard, but we're not doing a Ramus game, so it doesn't really matter. But because you see what he does wrong, you know how it's supposed to be done. And, or what it's supposed to look like. And I can't help you learn to do it correctly. Because you have to practice, you have to time it to the freaking millisecond to do it perfectly. But you can do it. You know you can do it. But yeah, seeing it done is of course awesome and it is awesome to see because it's so rare to see. And look at this, Ramus, did you die? Oh, <laughs> oh that Ramus. Yeah man, I'm the tank. I built AD. <laughs> oh, he doesn't build AD, he builds armor that transforms into AD. Yeah, man, because I'm the tank. I need to get armor all day. Ah, uh, this Ram is probably saying, well, I did my job. Look at my items, man. I did my job. Mobile Fire said this would be an excellent build. Yeah, this is a terrible build. Uh, he doesn't even have a Guardian Angel. And yeah, if you're getting killed all the time, might as well go for Guardian Angel. Uh, I personally would have gone for... Um, a Negatron cloak by now. I don't even know if he still has that. He had a... Red team's turret has been destroyed. I think at least. Oh, finally a Negatron Red cloak. Yeah, like in the last second he built a Negatron cloak. Excellent. I thought he had, uh, what's it called, a null magic mantle at some point. But I must have either been wrong at that. Or he sold it, which would be totally stupid but anyway come on fizz land the kills it doesn't matter anymore anyway <sighs> Ramus gets killed once again just for good measure just to show him that that is not the way to build Ramus against an AD an AP team it is the way to build Ramus versus an AD team I guess but yeah why would you go Thor mail against Skarner or something I don't know it's, Whatever. I guess Warwick did some AD damage, but yeah, whatever. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.
Tchau, tchau.